the shit. This right here, I don't even know what to say. So this interview here is is the shit. What is this? What is this? This is the unwind. This is um Zane stuff. Can I get jiggy with this? Well, you can't get jiggy with my only bottle of unwind, but I can get you some of this ghetto water from Walmart. Yeah, man. No, I'm, I'm looking at. Hold on, I'm looking at the Don Julio even better. Man. Ghetto water. I need, I need, I need a, I need, I need a little That's hype bad. before I get to this hype. You want me to your drink? Yeah, let me get a drink. And it's amazing that you're even able to make those calls. I don't think that a lot of people, you talk about my accomplishments, I don't think a lot of people really realize your political ties outside the music side. Your political ties yeah. are deep, you know. <clears throat> talk about that. Yeah, man, like, um, you know, thanks to my sister, Jania Butler. Uh, me and her have an organization called Hip Hop Union that we've had for the last 11 years. Um, in conjunction with Rainbow Push Coalition, which is Jesse Jackson, Reverend, Honorable Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr.'s organization. Um, so I've had the honor, in, in all reality, to um, to have somebody mentor me, not only on the, on, on the political aspect, but on the social aspect of life. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody that I personally, growing up as a kid, read about in my in my in my history book. You know what I'm saying? You, you yeah. know what that feels like? That's like, you know... It feels I mean, amazing. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like reading about your hero and then getting to hang out with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for so many years... But you're not I just, hanging out with him. You're literally... I mean, we're developing you, programs. Yeah, and, we're, and, we're, and we're doing things. Yeah. We're doing productive things in the communities, man. Whether it's New York, whether it's Atlanta, whether it's L.A., Miami, um, Chicago, you know, where the home base is at. Right. I mean, we created programs every day for our community. Like even when we did the, um, when I did the Obamacare, mm -hmm. we created, you know, hip hop for healthcare. Shout out to my girl Kim from Miami, and we did that nationally in conjunction with Clear Channel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we took that nationally. Like everything is about rolling out new social programs for our community. Right. Like you and I have spoken about it. Like even in terms of what we're doing financially, you know what I mean? And, and creating these financial programs and starting to right. roll out, you know, that side of it so that we can educate our community. Education you know what I mean? is key. And it's key. And it really is, man. So I've had, I've, like I said, I've had the pleasure of working with that man for 11 years. And through that, I've developed a lot of relationships that have allowed me to move in different directions in terms of our community and being um, uh, a social activist right. in our community, you know, and allowing to be able to give back and I've been awarded, you know, 100 Black Men of America, crazy enough. <laughs> you know, here you got a Latino and I'm, I'm being awarded. I was about to get to that too, like, listen now. Black Latino. But I'm Black Latino. Yeah, you know, Black Latino. Don't yeah. open that. You, you good. You, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are right out there. Yeah. We in here. Yeah. And uh, 100 Black, the 100 yeah. Top Black Men in the World. Yeah. Let me see this shit. Put yeah. your arm by my arm. Yeah, right there. Look, you see it, right? Clearly not black. Yeah, but, but look, look, this is what we do. Clearly though. got some really strong ties. That's in the how. Black I, that's how I look. You know, the blackest yeah. Latino. You know what I'm saying? Know. You know. Shout out to Bonner Brothers and all that, man. Bernard and all that for also being a part of it. You yes, know. Yes, definitely. In terms of of what we did, you know, with Upscale and 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 what they do, man. But they definitely supported um, that that movement. Right. You know what I mean? And we did it nationally and then through the support of 100 Black Men of America, I've been able to start my own my own organization called the 100 Latin Men of America. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's still in development. We're putting together the board. Uh, we just got our 501c3 for it. Okay, congratulations. So, um, yeah, you know, and we were really supposed to launch at the top of the year, but obviously because of the pandemic, it got it got a little delayed. You know what I mean? I just want to, I just want to be able to put my best foot forward and bring the right people to the table that are gonna be able to, um, see, one thing about me is that I spent a lot of years supporting the African-American community. You understand? Because of who I am, what I've done since I was 17, 16, 17 years old, being in the, in the music and entertainment industry, and so on and so forth. And in reflection back, I've, I haven't done much for my Latin community. Um, and what I love about Rev is that he's always supported me and pushed me towards like you are a leader now right and as i get you know older and i get up in my age and and i start learning more and i've traveled around the world my experiences in itself and what i've seen and what i've helped develop is 
it's I don't see it, but they see it as inspiring to a generation. Right. A generation that I still feel very well connected with. You feel what I'm saying? Even at my age at 51, like, I'm still connected to 51. the younger generation, yeah. 51? Yeah, I'm a young 51. Oh, I'm right. a little well, scruffy, too. Have one. It's all right. You know what it is, baby. Do that again. Let me see that. Yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, you killing them. That's that ski. Ski. Yeah, the director know about that. Everybody, you know, if you got them, them sounds. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, that's you how you get it. Ski. Yeah. Oh. That's the call. That's the call right there. Hey, that used to be the call. That's the, call, that's the, the pimp. The pimping pimp pimp call, right, pimp? That pimp call. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how Martin, remember Martin? Is that pimp call? They all had the pimp call. That's the pimp. Ski. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and they come a running. That's my Fonz. You know Fonz had that. I had it. Ski hey. <laughs> That's that that's that old bronze stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's that old bronze stuff. But you know what I'm saying? Like even to this day, you know, just to wrap around what we were saying, like even to this day what I'm wearing, man, these are my people hard and hustle. You know what I mean? Shop them out. These are my people's. Yeah, then that's one thing. Let me matter. stop this right now. Yeah. He normally don't got nothing on that unless it's someone else's brand that he's Yeah. Pushing. Well, something so, I'm tied into. You know what I mean? Know, something. Whether it's emotionally or, or, Down or the financially tied in. Yeah, you're right about that, man. Like, even the underwears, man. It's, it's some cats that I made out in Super Bowl weekend. Don't pull them out. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. They're fly he too, man. Way. Like, pockets. Looking like shorts and all that, man. <laughs> The glasses, boys, Matic, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, man, it's a family, care. man. Shout care. out Duval, you know what I mean? We got them premium boys, you know what I mean? But okay, it's always, you know, it's, it's about for me, it's about uplifting our community, man. Like if we can't, if we can't uplift each other, man, and provide opportunities for each other, man, then what are, what are we really doing? You feel what I'm saying? Like I want to, I want to try and put as many people in position as I can because once I'm done, I'm 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 going this way. I'm good. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So I want to I wanna leave behind a community that's good. You know what I mean? Some educated brothers and sisters, you feel what I'm saying? That really know what they're doing and learn it from some of the best. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? That's good. And that's, and that's really like what I'm on. So in terms of what I do for the community and all that, that's what I do. Like right now they're talking about, you know, top of the year if all goes well. Also, once again, this was something that got delayed. Um, the because the COVID, man, but I was supposed to get a proclamation in March. Yeah. The city was giving me a proclamation. Okay. You know what I mean? So, God willing, we, um, we, we were talking the other day, man, and we're probably going to do that again at the top of the year. Just like New York is finally identifying me, man, in terms of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. That's something that I did for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I did the Coca-Cola float alone for 10 years and put the talent on there. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out my man June and all that and yeah. family from there. But And, and Calvin who helps run the whole Puerto Rican Day festivities, man. You're talking about two million Latinos in one space. So this year, it was supposed to be this year, but next year I'm coming back uh, as, a, as an ambassador of the arts. Okay. Because I told him, I said, bro, I don't want to walk that ride again, man, for nothing. I'm not promoting nobody. I'm not doing nothing. Y'all need to put one of them sashes around me and let me walk with the mayor and the governor. That's right. You know what I mean? And yeah. let me get my props on. Put some respect yeah, on my Yeah, yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? A little respect on that. A little respect on that, respect. man. You know what I mean? Like, I've supported that community in terms of that for a lot of years. Yeah, it's you deserving, know what I'm saying? deserving of it. Yeah, so... You know, my brother called me and was like, yo, this is what we're going to do, and we're finally going to do it this year. So it's supposed to go down this year. And um, fortunately, man, what what happened, you know, put us in, the, in in that position. But next year, they're looking at bringing it back. It's, it should be back. Should everything be good? God willing, man. And I got General Motors to sponsor a vehicle for me. Okay. So I brought them in, you know what I mean? And I'm going to sit there with the Miss Miss uh, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to be in the vehicle with me. I'm gonna be there too, yesterday. Oh, uh, I don't, man. We're gonna, we're gonna put the, listen, <laughs> we're gonna put this on the side of the car. We're gonna put this on the side of the car. Hey. Yeah, I promise you. You will see this on the side <laughs> of the car. Go check it on WAPA, Univision, Telemundo. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Channel 4 NBC. They always, always televised the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Hold up, why you got this I thing? I said it right on? here. I know, but why you got this thing going on? It's hold up, da 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 da. Yeah. Come on now, he just did a rap video. I gotta know about that since he done turned up. 
we gonna go ahead and get that out because he gonna try to avoid that. But we ain't gonna avoid that. Through we ain't go, Cause he just did all this thing here. So <laughs> you said you was just on the hook, but she was. I am on just on the hook. You was killing them. Look, what up? Shout out my man Jimmy Black. Um, it just got picked up for a movie soundtrack as well, which is funny. Okay. You know what I mean? This is something that was we was in the studio um, prior to COVID and all that top of the year, and I'm listening to the beat. I was like, doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom. So I'm, I'm doing all this, right? Hey. So I, saw, I started talking about, yeah, that's that blue cheese. You know what I mean? And we up there, we counting money. We throwing it in the air, you know what I mean? So I'm like, bro, that's that, that it's about that blue cheese. Right. So I said, yo, you know what? <laughs> let me, let me, let me do the hook. I'm going to reference the hook how you should do it. So when I went into the studio, man, into, into the booth, and I never done this, man, in 30 plus years that I've been in the industry, I've never done this, man. I never wanted, I never wanted to do it for one person and feel like now nah, I got to do it again. Right. The same way I've never hosted a mixtape, you know, even being one of the owners of Coast to Coast mixtapes and all that. DJs ask me all the time, yo, hold my, now nah, if I do it for you, I got to do it for them. Exactly. And then, then it'll become 20, 30, 40, 50 niggas calling me, I need you to get on my mixtape. You know what I mean? So I never wanted to do it. So I told him, I said, look, I'm going to reference this. I'm going to go in the studio and I'm going to reference it. And you're going to get somebody that's going to do it just like I did it. All right? They and did, I, they got you. And I was in my, I was in my, in my, 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 my <laughs> young thug, you know what I mean? I was listening to that because everybody rapping like this. You know hey. what I mean? Hey! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got into my, that, that blue cheese. You know what I mean? Ooh, we get that blue kill cheese. Kill him. You know what I mean? And, and I told him, go do it like that. So two weeks later, he says, be back to mix down record. He's like, yeah, I mixed it down. It's a mixing master. So who you got on, on the hook? He was like, it's you, huh? I was like, oh, Jesus, man. Y'all really put my <laughs> old ass on the hook of a record. And now, hold on. Now it's on the soundtrack. Now we got to go <laughs> shoot a video. This is a joke, man. Joke, joke, joke. <laughs> it was a little jokey joke. But you know what? Shout out, shout out Jimmy going hard. It's real funny because a lot of cats are really loving it. You know, surprisingly, like the support has been incredible. Hold on for a second. The door been locked. Then this white walk in. He just get privileged. He just unlocked the door. But that's what D do, that's man. What he you, do. Know, he just it you know, in that's, the that's, door that's, in. you know, that's that's you know, he's a superstar. You know, superstar actor, man. His family business. He's done you know, on he, that he, too. So he, he know, he, he know, he know, he know what's going on, man. Yeah, he was feeling a bit. Now nah, he was feeling a notorious moment. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He caught, he caught a flashback, man, like he was still on the scene and shit. <laughs> <laughs> D can do that, though. Salute you know, my so brother in the building, man. Everybody in here with the red cup, y'all. You know how he's you doing, know, man. He's, he's having, I don't know, we can't even put that down. It's a Don Julio moment. Yeah, we're going we gonna to catch that, man. My good old send us water. a case, baby. You already know how you know we do, man. <laughs> we need that, man. So, <laughs> we man, need that in the building, man, for everything that we're doing. I hear you. So but go ahead, you took, you took it to that, man. I had and to. I had to. Oh, Jesus, I man. To. Hey. I you're all in your business. I ain't asking you to hate and all that I stuff. Gotta, I gotta, 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 gotta plug, man. My man, D. Brad. Okay. Original producer, director, creator of motherfucking Rap City. Just started Rap City Chronicles. Okay. All Let right? me find out. So brought me in on the programming side. Because you know my history with Rap City and all the artists I put on there and all the okay. all the DJs that I put on there throughout the years, man. So holla at Hype Magazine, she's gonna have all the information, man. You know, we're gonna fuck with the family, so Jay's gonna be a part of it, director's gonna be a part of it. Um right now we're doing the same thing that everybody doing the Roku thing and all of that. iTunes, I mean, you know, everything that every every format that we can stream it is currently streaming, but we we're talking to a couple of Networks about picking it up, man, in terms of what we're doing because okay. it's gonna chronicle all the years. You feel what I'm saying? And then it's almost like a where are they now type situation. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Where are the DJs now that have been on that show? Where are all the artists that, that have been on that show throughout the years? Mm -hmm. So, and then I have the original director back, you know what I mean? And I was one of the the original um, talent scouts for the show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you the original people, so. OG nigga, like, let's um, talk No, nah, I just, I had, I had to plug OG that. OG Bobby Johnson. Hey. <laughs> 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 hey, do the jail time, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I wanted to plug that because it, just like the Hip Hop Museum, man, when we bring it here, yeah. and let me let me go there, man, um, you know, 
Shout out Geechee and everybody, man, the whole family over there, man, that brought me to the table, man, because they know that I'm part of the history and part of the, 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 the fabric of this industry and what we created, you know what I mean? And my relationships are impeccable. I don't have no bad relationships. If I do, it's not my relationship, it's your relationship. You know, we were just arguing last week. <laughs> I mean, we always, we, you know, we brother and sister <laughs> like that. We can do that and then we be all right. No, oh, we ain't nah, had no arguments. We ain't had no arguments, man, you know what I mean? Nah, we just be vibing. We just, we, we always good. Self-check, though. Yeah, you we know what I mean? We self-check. We don't need nobody checking. I know, you, 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 you tell me a couple of times, man. I love yeah. you, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Where, where days at? We got to uh, bring you in the, in the crib. Yeah. Nah, she, <laughs> she got me one time. But, yeah. Um, I got you. Yeah, he did. Ah, uh, probably so. You did, man. The hell with it. I'm not going to ask him what his social media is because nah, we all know this is really mad dog. We don't got to even yeah, go there. already know since 87, baby. All that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. But yo, the museum. Okay. Next week, we got in our locations. As an artist, we should reflect the time. Why you so talented? Cause I'm black. Why you so amazing? Cause I'm black. It's really important that we build characters so that people understand their story matters. Two Chains and I both are just really into good food. And when you know you are royalty, you will only aim in life to be royalty. We're doing it right now. I don't give a damn what they say about me. Yes, I called your ass out. I know I shouldn't be saying this kind of Shout out to Hype Magazine Network. Shout out to the Hype Magazine Network.